Hey y'all, uh, this is just a, a tutorial on how to make farm accounts in the Ants Underground Kingdom. So for you to be able to see this video, uh, if you're looking to make farm accounts and you don't know how to do it, uh, there's two emulators you can do so. Uh, there's the Nox emulator, Android platform. And there is the Bluestacks platform. We, I am going to cover both on how to actually go about doing this. Um, so it, it's not it's not overly difficult at all. It's not actually anything to be worried about. I know it may seem difficult. I understand that. So if you just you know, I'll try to go fairly slow. I will attempt to make it as clear as it concise as possible, and you just follow along. As you can see, I got three accounts going right now for Ancy oh, uh, Underground Kingdom, and that is actually a lie. It's actually four accounts, and I'm going to be having six accounts. Why? That way I can literally pee on my own peas, these little things up here. See these little peas up here? Uh, I can't. Oh, come on. It's a little glitchy at the moment. See this? This is my P. I get diamonds from it. So six accounts will get you all your P's watered. It will also give you the ultimate rally army for those that want to do so. So let's get started with this tutorial. Okay, as you can see here by this, uh, by my desktop, there's a few icons here. Uh, these icons are standard for Bluestacks as well as Nox. I'm actually trying to get the Nox uh, stuff, uh, the Nox multi drive one out as we speak. I think this one is the one I need. Oh, come on. Don't, don't do this to me, computer. Don't do this to me, computer. Come on. Okay. So here we go. We have Nox Multi Drive and we have Bolt Bluestacks Multi Instance Manager. For both Nox and Bluestacks, if you're going to have multiple accounts like I am for Ants Underground Kingdom or similar games, then you want the Multi Instance Manager EXE. Uh, if you're on a Linux or an Apple, I don't know how to tell you that because that's not my actual expertise. So, I, and I don't own an Apple or a Linux operating system. So for those, you're probably going to need to go elsewhere to find information. But for Windows, you need the Multi Instance, uh, the Multi Instance, come on, pop up. The multi instance manager, and then you need the Nox Blue Stacks or the Nox multi drive. So, if we open these two up here, oh, yeah, I already have this open. As you can see here, I have two instances of Blue Stacks as well as, uh, as well as two different versions of Blue, uh, of Blue Stacks. Over here on uh, on my Nox, I have uh, four accounts ready to go, but only three of them is currently being used. That's because I've I've only got three accounts going right now. Eventually, I'll be adding in three more. So, basically, for Nox Emulator, for those using Nox, you want to hit the Add Emulator button down here. And you want to say Pro Android 7 64 bit. Now, why not the beta, you ask? Well, beta is flawed, not really flawed, but th things in beta can change at any given time. So it's real buggy and, and not very recommended to tr do. Th but 64 bit, if your computer supports 64 bit, then I recommend getting the 64-bit instance uh, game. That's just my recommendation. So, 
we basically click on that one for Knox and it downloads as you can I have one gig internet so it it completed really quickly so since I actually am going to be having six instances this is, completes my six instances now over here in BlueStacks we have something actually similar instead of having an add emulator button we have this new thing called new instance in BlueStacks and you say fresh instance and then you have a choice between the 32-bit, the 64-bit or the beta again highly recommend the 64-bit if you have a 64-bit operating system or go with the 32-bit but do not get the beta as it can be buggy so once you select your actual uh, uh, version, Android version, you hit the next button here. And this is where it, little, it gets a little tricky with BlueStacks. As you saw with Knox, it was very, very simple. For BlueStacks, you have a little more detail to it. And depending on your computer specs, it may not be the best for your computer. Now for me, I have a pretty beefy computer, so I'm going to go with the max possible settings. So I'm going to say use up all my core, all my core. I'm going to say use my high 4 gig uh, RAM, and then we're going to keep the resolution at landscape. We're going to keep that as that, and then we're going to keep the DPI as that. Now. What Knox didn't have, BlueStacks does have. They have this thing called instance count. So, let's say I wanted to make six accounts on BlueStacks rather than Knox Emulator. Well, we would actually put a six in that in that uh, box there and say create. So then, it just automatically creates. Now, if it's your first time installing a 64-bit uh, BlueStacks or Knox, it does require additional files. These additional files are used to run the 64-bit Android system. So it is definitely going, depending on your internet, it will take anywhere from a few minutes to a possible few hours. So please keep that in mind if you do choose 64-bit operating system for Android emulator. Now, as you can see over here in Knox, we have play buttons. Over here, we have start buttons. Virtually the same. You hit a play button over here in Knox, it starts the emulator. We'll give it a minute to boot up. And me, I'm going to go ahead and, and do everything I need to to make this work. So. And there you have it. You have a workable uh, op Android operating system using Knox, the Knox emulator. Now, let's slide this over to my left monitor. Now we'll open up BlueStacks. Let's say we want to start with the first BlueStacks on the list. It's not our 64 bit, but it's the one the software gave us to start with. So BlueStacks will start same kind of window a little faster loading for 32-bit obviously yes I have actually gamepad detected and there we go we have a BlueStacks Android version um, emulator so you see this it's actually very cool that each one has its own style now here is the biggest thing that you have to pay attention to between the between Knox and BlueStacks. BlueStacks has the Play Store button right here. Right here. 
in Nox, I actually had to look for it. In Nox, the the same icon is is right here, but it's right here, very small and very hard to see. So if you're using Nox, remember it's up here in the bar. It's literally up here in the bar where it's hard, where it's actually hard to see. So since I use Nox, we're gonna go ahead and and sign in to to uh, sign in to uh, our, uh, Google and actually get our thing. So once you actually are in your OS, launch Google Play. Whichever the case may be, launch Google Play. Then you want to search for the ants colon. Make sure you get that colon in there because if you don't get that colon in there, it's gonna uh, it's gonna do something funky. Underground. And at this at this point, you do not need the word kingdom. And I can't spell apparently. Underground. There we go. Press enter. And as you can see, the second one on the list, the Ants Underground Kingdom. So you can either click on this or you can say the install button. It doesn't matter which one you choose, whether it's Knox or Bluestacks, same thing. It'll pop up this because you have not used an account to actually download. So we are going to sign in here. Now I I actually need to make uh, get this set up, so I'm gonna use one of my emails I currently got. If you are like me and a tech person, you have more than one email. I personally have like ten emails, and anybody that's a tech person probably has that much alone. Google, you can have as many emails as possible and, and, and you get about, I think it's either five to 15 gigabytes of free space to store files. So anybody that's a tech guy knows Google is the way you go to make an email account. So you can use Google Drive for that email to store information, store files that you want to keep. That is the reason why we have so many Google accounts, uh, Google emails, is because we use Google Drive to store files. If if you are if you have not actually done so though, if you have not actually if you only have one email and not don't have multiple, then you will probably have to create an email. You have to go through the whole email process of creating a whole new email because you do not want to use the current email you have. You need, you need to keep your main email separated from your farms. So each farm you create is another email. So, let's see, what email have I not used? I've used that one, I've used that one, I've used that one. Let's go with that one. My, sto my big storage. device yes that's the number I need sign in approved yes I'm in I agree accept so as you can see once you signed in you can actually sit here and install the game actually install it now most of you if you're playing on a, a main device that is not an emulator first you most likely have your account bind to Facebook and to the Google Play or Apple Store 
If you're using an iPad, it's Facebook and Apple Store. If you're using uh, an Android, it's Google Play and Facebook. But here's the real trick. You do not want to use your Facebook again. You do not want to use your Facebook again, and there's no sense in making a secondary Facebook or as many Facebooks as possible. Let me let me show you a little secret that, that is fine. So here we are loading the Ants Kingdom after it's installed. We'll sit here and load for a minute. Thank goodness for a gig internet. Otherwise that would take longer. I'm not actually going to play this one. I'll have to switch to one of my current ones I'm playing. And there you have it. You now have a freshly created farm account that you can build up and make it into a farm. Now, we're, I'm not actually going to play this to get to the point I needed. So we're going to close this and we're going to open up one of my instances I already have of a farm. The whole part I was talking about, uh, talking about actual uh, binding to account. If you go in here and say bind account, as you can see, I have my Google account actually bind, but I do not have my Facebook. Why? Because my emulators here on my computer does not, does not want Facebook bind. My iPhone here, my iPhone and my iPad, both of them are the same account. So I use both Facebook and uh, and uh, Apple Store save on my actual iPhone and iPad. However, do not bind your Facebook to your emulators or your farm accounts. Why? Because you do not want to override. You do not want to override your information. And binding Facebook to your farm accounts could override your main account, which would be a very big, big problem if you happen to have 2 million power or more. Because then instead of your main account looking and seeing, seeing, the, uh, seeing the actual 2 million, it's seeing the freshly farm account that you made. So on your farm accounts, do not bind Facebook. Just bind the alternative. If you're, if you're using an emulator like I am, then the alternative is Google Play. So just find the Google Play and not Facebook on any of your farms. If, so if you're using an Apple's, uh, Apple device or an Apple, Apple emulator to make farms, then you would bind it to the Apple Store. There would be an Apple Store where this Google button is. And you would bind it to the Apple Store and not Facebook. Same, the same thing applies whether it's Apple or Android. You do not bind your farms to Facebook. You will screw up your information. And you have to have a different email per farm account. That means if you want six farms, you got to have six different emails aside from your main account. So six plus your main account, that would equal seven separate emails. Just the way it goes. With that being said, I hope this video tutorial has been helpful. I hope that you were able to follow along very, you know, as good as possible. And if there's any time, at any point you need me to run over the facts of, uh, of actually, uh, signing in doing all the all the buying for the ants on your farm accounts then i'll gladly be able to do a video for that as well i will have to build up that one i just created a little bit first before i can do that so i have that option to do 
But if a tutorial is needed for the buying of ants on your farms, then I will, I will make the video at that point. And until then, I'm not going to worry about it. With that being said, this video has gone long enough. I hope you have a good night, evening, day, whatever the case may be. And ciao.